the majority of the people here in Williams Lake had no idea what was going on in their backyard. The impacts of this St. Joseph's Residential School has been felt from generation to generation to generation, ever since 1891. I went to St. Joseph's when I had just turned six. We got stripped and we got put in. I don't know what we got put in, but my orange shirt was taken away. So I wear it today as a symbol of the healing that's taking place. Something that comes with the Western society and the settlers that arrive here is a fairly stark binary between human and non-human. Humans are the subjects of property, have the capacity to be owners, and everything else is available to be owned. The salmon is the link between the, both the spotting grounds and the open ocean, and also provides the link between the families. Residential schools were set up to break the cycle of the family as a unit of socializing, educating, protecting. The tradition of the Orange T-shirt Day grew out of Phyllis Webstad's personal story and reflections on being a residential school survivor. And it's now used as a day to honor residential school survivors. We've thrived as equipment people due to the salmon in a lot of ways. Our people have been fishing here forever. I mean, we've lived here for thousands of years. You get to know a place so intimately. 